Rowley's lone assistant still on staff at Nebraska is Trent Bray, who was named interim head coach by Bill Moose. The rest of the Husker coaches also fired, including Bob Diaco, the highest paid assistant in program history, who lasted just 11 months in Lincoln and had some parting comments today. Great kids, great people, great kids. Same thoughts I've had the whole time. What's that? Were you, right. were you retained or today or, or did they dismiss you two today? Diaco not retained, but no decision has been made regarding Billy Devaney's future along with other Husker football administrators. Nebraska's players received text messages this morning about a team meeting at 10 o'clock where they learned of Mike Riley's fate. And after that meeting, a handful spoke about the decision. It was emotional. He was a great man, a great coach, a great mentor in my life. So um, seeing that was it wasn't a good thing for me. We all got to see him after um, the meetings and stuff and just say our final goodbyes and last thank yous. And um, I mean, he'll, he'll be around for a little bit. So if we need him for anything, he'll, he'll be there for us. I wish Danner, I could get with Danny it, it, this. Kind of confirm the point that, that college football is a business. Yeah, I think everybody knew that. Um, it is. It's a, um, it's a big business, you know, and just like anything else. So, um, yeah, it validates that. AD uh, Moose, he stood up. He just basically told us that he wants to bring Nebraska back to like the top. He said we, we want to step that in up there with all the best with the best teams in the country. So he said he's, he's going to go out and go to work. He's going to try to find the best coach out there, best coach available that can help this team get to where they need to be and where they've been.